My name is Carmen Neustater. I'm an assistant professor at uh, SFU SEAT. Um, the research I do focuses a lot on telepresence, so how we can bring people into remote locations through technology. We look at families, we look at classroom settings, we look at workplace collaboration, um, just trying to sort of invent the future of telepresence systems. So the Human Proxy Project is a, a way of us sort of to rethink how people can remotely participate in classes. Um, so there's a lot of distance learning tools out there that people might use. And we're trying to find better ways of how people feel actually present in a remote classroom. And so we're doing that by using wearable mobile video streaming technologies like Google Glass, for example, where a person can, can uh, have somebody go to class on their behalf where that person wears Google Glass or some other technology that streams video, um, and they can actually participate in the class through that proxy that's there for them. So the person can ask questions on their behalf, they can engage in uh, classroom activities, and maybe even more importantly, the two of them can sort of engage together as peers to discuss the material if there's any questions that they might have about it. So the idea actually came from uh, two of my grad students, Dan and Jason. Um, they had seen an episode of Rest of Development on TV, and in that show, the one person hires a, a surrogate to go to work on their behalf. And uh, they kind of joked that it'd be funny when Jason went out of town to actually have Dan represent him in class and use Google Glass to do so. It was a funny experience because I was basically uh, channeling Jason. And whenever Jason wanted to speak, he would, you know, he would let me know he wanted to speak. And I would, I would raise my hand and you know, I would say, hi, this is Jason speaking. And, and I would communicate to the class through Jason or whatever I wanted to speak. I have to say, hi, this is Daniel speaking. And uh, it was also funny for the, the professor, whenever he wanted to say, speak to Jason, he would stare at me and look at me. And you know, I, was, I basically acted as a, a human camera and I kind of had to channel Jason through, through uh, Google Glass. There's a lot of social issues that I think need to be worked out. If the person that's trying to be the proxy has to convey questions for the remote user, are they presenting them in, uh, in the way intended? Are they using the right tone? Are they sort of asking the question the way they'd want to? They can tell you to raise your hand or to shout out in class and you almost, you kind of feel obligated or, you know, uh, like a subordinate to their, to their command. So that was an interesting, interesting experience. <laughs> I think it's, it's really one more step in trying to think of new ways for students to participate in classes remotely. Um, so, you know, people are sick, people may have accessibility challenges that make it so they can't come to class. And right now the ways that they're able to participate then are pretty limited. Like if you're sick at home, you basically have no option. If you face an accessibility challenge where mobility is an issue, you often maybe can't come to school. Um, and then maybe you Skype into class, but really you still don't have this physical presence if you do that. And so we want to try to bring that physical presence, that embodiment, to make you feel like you are actually in the room physically. I think it's a good idea because we're at a stage where the ways people learn is increasingly changing and the different types of technology we have is, is just growing at such a widespread rate. And so I think it's appropriate to kind of sort of mash the two up. Like, you know, learning's changing, so why don't we think about ways we can use this cool new technology to really empower students to learn in different ways that maybe make more sense to them or give them more options. Um, you know, I think really students need that kind of flexibility and, and we should hopefully try and provide that for them.